Um, evening, everybody. As I say, my name is Martin Randall. I'm the Operations Director at Spirit Circuits. And uh, we're going to, myself and uh, Jason, who is our lead facilitator, uh, we're just going to do a uh, fairly brief uh, presentation on what we've called the lean value stream. So for the next uh, 20 minutes or so, hopefully it won't be more than 20 minutes, um, just a very uh, brief uh, introduction, actually, what lean Called difficult. Oh, here we go. Right, and uh, the current situation as to where we are with um, value stream mapping at Spirit. Bill mentioned that uh, this is the, the second uh, time we've been here at Hailing, and for you guys that were here last time, you may remember that um, I did a, a similar uh, presentation, which at that time was on 5S. We was at the very beginning of our lean journey, if you like, at that point, and. Uh, uh, this was one of the slides I used at the time then, and I thought it was quick, good just to have a very quick refresher in terms of the principles of Lean before I go on and talk about value stream mapping in a little bit more detail. Um, and, it, and it effectively is viewing anything, any resources that uh, you're exerting other for uh, the benefit of um, delivering the product to the customer as a waste of resource there. Um, lean background, the history of Lean, um, goes back quite some time to uh, those clever Japanese guys that were working in uh, Toyota at the time, um, back as it says, uh, uh, late 40s, early 50s, and uh, you know, they developed some principles that were really known as just-in-time principles, uh, which later uh, became what we know as Lean now. Uh, this, this is a slide that I, I, I quite look, because uh, this is uh, one of the gurus there from Toyota, and this is really, for me, what it's all about in terms of Lean. This is the point where you know, we're getting an order in, this is the point where we're collecting the cash. The idea is we obviously want to reduce that line and take out the non-value added. So any waste that are not adding value at that point, the goal is to try and reduce that line as, as, uh, as far as is possible. And to, to summarise uh, four goals uh, of a lean system, um, certainly product improvement. I'm going to talk a little about uh, waste in it. In it in a couple of slides time and, and certainly product improvement or defects as a waste is a, is a key thing now. Um, eliminating waste in total which in time should reduce time for process whether that's, that's not just manufacturing time. Jason's going to talk a little bit about what we've actually done in the non-manufacturing uh, non parts of the business in our sales and our engineering departments um, and looking at reducing the, uh, the total cost to the business. So some of the, the lean tools and techniques, uh, 5S we have now had a 5S program um, in Spirit now for about 18 months and I do believe that you actually you never do 5S. 5S is, for me is a continuous uh, practice um, and when I was talking about it about 12 months ago, you know, one of the things I was saying is that I thought the biggest challenge is the sustaining of it and um, yeah, our experience I think on 5S has, has sort of mirrored that of other companies. Um, you know, it is keeping the energy levels up. Um, and, and um, keeping focus on there. So we have a 5S program. The next thing for us was to look at the value stream, which we're talking about there. And I've just put up some of the other tools and techniques. If you're into Lean, if you started Lean, you know anything about Lean, then you're probably familiar with um, uh, some, if not all, of those um, uh, tools and techniques that are there. So value stream mapping, what is, what is value stream mapping? And the easiest way that I can use to, to kind of describe it is analyzing um, the design, the material flow and the flow of information from bringing the, uh, or to getting the product uh, to, or the service to the customer. So it is about uh, having a, an, an overall view of basically everything that is going in the business there. Um, these two rather good looking guys were um, at, the, at the origins of value stream mapping and Attack, 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 attack the waste. That's what these guys were all about. This was what they were doing to improve their productivity. And a lot of what we're doing value stream mapping today um, still uh, sort of comes from some of the basic principles that um, 
these guys at Toyota were developing. Um, as, a, as a tool itself and from Lean, I suppose it, it's relatively sort of recently uh, been sort of come to the attention in the West and uh, some of the other guys that are the, if you like, the, the value stream gurus um, that you may have heard of there, Mike Rother, John Shook, and books such as Learning to See. I think it, that one seems to come around time and time again if you talk to anybody on value stream and certainly us as beginners in value stream, you know, these are some of the, the uh, sort of references that we were given to uh, sort of help improve our own uh, knowledge. And there's an example of a very, very busy value stream map. Um, Jason's going to talk a little bit about the different types of value stream mapping and about the map that we, or the method that we have chosen at Spirit, the way that we've gone at Spirit with that. Um, so, uh, but uh, it just uh, gives you an idea there that this is the, the materials coming in. You've got your production processes at, at the top here, subcontract processes and shipping of products out there. So that's a very top level view of um, of, a, of a, an activity, a, 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 a process flow effectively. When we look at the, the, the WACE, um, identifying the WACE, uh, a little acronym that most people would be familiar with if they've done any kind of value stream mapping, and this is this, this guy here, Tim Woods. He's stealing our time. Um, the way that, this is a nice little way that we have picked up on um, of just continually remembering and focusing on what the wastes are, the wastes that you're trying to eliminate. You know, the, the whole goal of this is to identify opportunities to remove these wastes. So we talked about you know, product uh, quality improvement. You know, we could be, that would fall into the category of um, obviously defects. Um, another one which is not uncommon with the industry, waiting and delays. Um, you know, it doesn't actually take, you guys know, very long to make a printed circuit board. Um, but you can be, uh, you know, a lot of the, uh, the, the times that we're quoting in terms of lead times can be taken up when we're considering, you know, the weight and delay and what's coming in front of it now. So just a, a little reminder for us there that when we're doing the value stream, what we're trying to achieve is to re reduce some, if not all, of those wastes. Uh, just a couple of slides just to finish off here. Um, what we have here is a typical, let's say, a seven and a half hour day, if we're lucky enough to only work seven and a half hour days. And... We have the value bit in the green at the far right. So this is all the good stuff that we do for the customer. This is the stuff that the customer would be prepared to pay for of the value. The blue section in the middle, we have the bit there that maybe you need to do this in order to get to the, to the uh, productive stuff for the customer. So this might be you know, following of procedures and documentation and, and so on. And the red bit here, we have lots of waste. This is all the stuff that isn't contributing to complying with our own systems and procedures and it isn't adding value to the customer. So this is, this, this is the bit for, uh, that, you know, that we're really looking to attack here. So our goal at um, a future state map, the end of the value stream process, is obviously to, in our day, be much more productive on the green stuff and, must, and spending much, much less time in the blue and the red stuff. So just to, to, to summarise before I hand over to, to Jason now, the idea with the value stream is that it does provide, it should provide a clear focus on what's going on in your business and it should identify the areas um, where there are opportunities to use the right lean tools and techniques. Um, the current state, i.e. what we are doing now, obviously that is your starter, that is your baseline upon which all future benefits and gains are measured against. So I'm going to hand over to, to Jason now, and Jason's going to talk a little bit about where we actually started um, with Value Stream at Spirit, and uh, I think it has some examples of that as well. 